This is a complete guide on how to make Instagram Reels like a pro. From how to make Reels on Instagram using the app, to awesome Instagram video editing apps so you can level up your Reels and increase your views on Instagram. Here's everything you need to know. Hey, I'm that British girl, Jordana Grace, and I've built a little social media empire and filmed over 2,000 videos just using an iPhone. And creating Reels has been a massive part of that success. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways to make Reels like a pro, all while using a trusty iPhone. But don't worry, Androids, the process is pretty much the same, and I'll be sharing some of my best tips along the way. Let's go. So there are three ways of making Reels. Using the Instagram app itself, for filming and editing everything within the app, using templates within Instagram to create easy and awesome looking videos, and using editing apps to level up your content and creation game. So let's start with the obvious and make a reel within the Instagram app. And just an FYI, the interface may look different depending on what region you're in and if you have the latest software update. So let's make our first reel. So first thing you're gonna do is open up Instagram. And if you're on your homepage, you wanna go to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen and press the little profile button, and then you get to your profile. Once you're in your profile, you wanna go to the top right-hand side of the screen and there's a little square button with a plus in it. We're going to click that and now you have all your options. Obviously, we're gonna create a reel. So you can choose from camera, drafts, or templates. We're gonna go with camera. And this is everything you need to know about the reels interface. Of course, in the top-hand corner, we have the X, which means that you can just X out of making a reel. On the right-hand corner, we have the settings button. So this is when you can go in and check the settings for your stories, reels, or lives. You can have controls whether you default to the front camera, which is what I do and then the camera tools, which is the settings you see on either the right or left-hand side. Right now, they're on the left, but if I click right-hand side, they're now on the right. So now in the middle of the screen, we have a few options. We have the flash, which you can either have on, off, or auto. I'm just gonna have off. And now you have your speed function. I'm just gonna keep it on normal speed. So keep an eye on this when you are filming, because if you go back and you're like, why is it in slow motion? You might have accidentally pressed that button. And here we have the timer, which is a feature that I really like to use. Because instead of pressing the record button, you're recording right away, you can actually give yourself a little bit of leeway. So for example, if I press the timer button, I can have a countdown timer down here, either for three seconds or for 10 seconds, which is really good. So those are all the features at the top of the screen. So now we're gonna take a look at the sidebar and there's so many features here. So for starting at the top, we have audio, and this is where you can search for any song or trending sound that you like to have in your video. And just to note, when using audio, just be careful because if you're using a sound or track on Instagram, that will be fine on Instagram. But if you're trying to repost it on another social media platform, there could be licensing issues. So I recommend a platform like Epidemic Sound or Artlist where you can license your own music and use it on whatever platform that you like. So because of licensing issues, I'm not gonna select any audio when making this video. The next one we have is effects. So this is when you can get all those like trending looks. You can get filters like, hmm, do I look beautiful? And you can go through these, have a little experiment to see what you wanna look at. There's an actual section for trending filters that you can have a look through. If I see this effect and I'm like, oh, I love it. I can just press the save button there and it's saved, I can use it at a different time. But we're not gonna use any filters at this moment. And the next one we have is layout. So when you select layout, you can then change your grid. So I can have it as a split system. I can have it above or below. You know, you can just keep on changing how it looks and you can upload things like this. So for example, I wanna film my head up here, just talking to you like this. And then in this section, I'm talking to you like this. And in this section, I'm talking to you like this. It's a little bit crazy. So if you wanna change or delete any of those areas, you basically press on the grid section and it'll come up with a little trash bin and you press that and then you can start again. So the next and one of my favorite features is green screen right here. So I love the green screen filter. Some of my most viral videos have used green screen. And I think they're really popular because when you use the green screen and put a picture behind you, when people first look at your video, they're like, oh, what is that? What are they about to talk about? People know that when there's a green screen effect behind them, they're about to talk about something, a little bit intriguing. So this is an effect that I use in so many of my videos. Because not only does it give my audience something to visually look at and talk about, it also means that my audience are engaged because I change the background screen all the time. If we just look through my reels on Instagram, you can see so many of them have a green screen background because I just think it's a really interesting and easy effect to use. So if you wanna use the green screen effect, all you need to do is press on green screen and at the bottom, change 
background. So we're gonna select this. So I can either choose a picture from my camera roll, like something I wanna talk about, or I can choose one of their scenes in reels, and they're really high quality. So I'm gonna choose a background of me in a school, and then when I go back, I just basically use my fingers on the screen to change the size of me. And I recommend doing that because if you take up the whole screen, people won't be able to see behind you. So for the first few seconds, take up the whole screen, and then on the next few seconds, shrink yourself down a little bit so then people can see what you're talking about. And look, I can even pretend that I'm sat at a desk. And then I could do a video on things I wish they told me before going to school. So now people can see what I'm talking about. They have a visual aid. And because I'm smaller on screen, there's so much more room for text. It's a really fun and super easy feature to use. I highly recommend checking out Green Screen. Okay, next up we have Add Yours. This feature is to prompt people to connect and collaborate with your video. It's not something that I use very often, but I do think that it's quite fun. So for example, I'm on the Add Yours screen. I'm gonna select Add Yours to the first prompt I found. I'm gonna move it on the screen to where I want and I can now change what I want the prompt to be. So, show me your favorite coffee place. So I've got show me your favorite coffee place and already I've lost all the people that have already used that prompt and now it's just me. However, if someone clicks add yours, we're going to start the chain afresh, which is one option of doing it. Or you can just select a prompt that everyone else is using and is quite popular and then you're part of a chain in that prompt. So if anyone ever goes through those prompt videos, yours will be in that chain. So I'm not gonna use add yours for the video, but that's how easy it is to use. And it could be a clever way to get more eyeballs on your videos. So that's just another way to get people to interact with your reels. So here we have length, which is a vital part when creating your reels, because it's how long your reel is going to be. And this should be the first thing that you press when starting your reel. So if I press this button here, it's gonna give me the options of filming in 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or 90 seconds. So at the time of filming this video, the max length of an Instagram reel is one minute, 30 seconds, or 90 seconds. So for this video, I'm just gonna stick it on 30 seconds. So now I've selected the length of 30 seconds. That is the max duration of my Instagram reel. And again, here you can see that it's 30 seconds on the screen, and at the bottom is the most important button for making Instagram reel, it's the record button. So if I press this, it's only gonna record for 30 seconds because that's the length that I've selected for my reel, and at the top, you're gonna to see the countdown timer. So not only is this the record button, but it also shows me how much of my Instagram reel that I've filmed so far. So, so far I've used about a quarter of my 30 seconds. So the next feature on this list is dual camera. So at the time of filming this video, dual camera is a brand new feature on Instagram and we're really excited about it. And here's a tip, whenever a social media platform brings out a new feature, it means that they want you to use it. And it could also mean that if you do use it, it may boost your video or post. So it's always worth checking them out. So for example, I'm gonna choose dual camera and it's gonna show me what I can see and what you can see. So you can see me on screen, but right here, you can see that I'm in the filming studio, which is basically just a boring TV screen. But imagine if you're going out on a walk or you're on a tour or if you're exploring a new place, you could be filming a reel and people can be seeing what you're seeing. I think it's a really good feature that you should check out. And next up on our list is gesture control. Now I think this is gonna be a game changer when filming because it will save you time and make your filming structure way more efficient. All right, so let's test it out. So if I select gesture control, it has the hand up on the screen and says, raise your hand to start and stop recording. So check this out. Oh, it started recording. It has a three second timer because remember earlier in the video, I talked about the timer at the top of the screen. You can choose three seconds or 10 seconds because I said for three seconds, it's got a three second timer. And if I do this, it stops the video. Now we have the align feature. Now this is quite fun, not something that I tend to use, but great if you wanna do fluid transitions. So check out this video of me on screen, getting ready. It's early in the morning, I don't look great. I've leaned forward to check how I look, and then the next moment I look amazing. Because I use the align feature, it meant that the continuity was really good and it made a seamless transition. For example, in this video, if I wanna use it again, so here's the align, so you can see where I was before. If I do this, I'm quite in line and then start filming and how does that look? Okay, so this is really interesting. So we're gonna have a little look at this. So let's take a look at that very last second where you're gonna see the transition using the align feature. So let's just take a look how that looks. So as you saw, it's quite a seamless transition. So imagine if I had one outfit on and then a different outfit. I think it'd make a really fun video because the transition would be really seamless. I think it'd look really good. And if you press the X on the screen, you're either gonna start again, continue editing or save draft. So let's go continue editing. So now you've seen the Reels interface, here are some filming tips. 
So before you start filming, it's really important that you select the length of time that you want your reel to be. Because once you start filming, you can't change the length of the reel. I mean, you can make it shorter, but you can't make it longer. What is good about Instagram is that if I film just a couple of little clips and then go into the edit screen, I, for example, can rearrange my clips. I can delete a clip or discard. And when I press done, I can still go back to filming and keep on filming. Whereas in other social media platforms within their apps, if you go into the editing screen and make any changes, you can't go back and film without deleting all those changes. So this is where Instagram does have the one up. So now you know everything about the Reels interface and you've filmed your video, now it's time to edit. So we're gonna press the next button. So on the next screen, you're in a preview version of your video. I also recommend, because Instagram has been known to be kind of glitchy, that you should download the video because you'll get a raw version of it without the watermark. And now at the top of the screen, you have some other features. For example, this is when you can add in audio. This is when you can add in effects. You can add in stickers, which I'll bring up in a minute. And you can also add in text. But of course, before doing any of that, I highly recommend trimming down your video first. So we're going to, at the bottom of the screen, press edit video, because there's no point adding text to video when you're just going to cut bits out anyway. So now we're in the editing screen, I'm going to show you how you can edit, trim, rearrange your clips, add transitions, text, all that jazz. Okay, for example, I filmed a great intro clip, so I'm going to drag that to the beginning. So I'm going to delete that clip. I'm going to keep that clip at the end. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete this one. Okay, now I have my video ready to go. So now I've edited my video to the exact time that I want it. So this is the best time to add your music, your quizzes, and your text. So if I press the play button, I can go through my video and take a little look. And then beneath my video, you can see tap to add audio. So this is when I can add in any music. So if you're gonna add in background music, I recommend having it a really, really low volume because you don't want it to overwhelm your audience, but you want them to hear it like in the back of their mind. But because of licensing, I'm not gonna add any music here. And at the bottom on the left-hand side, you can edit. Now this is when you can trim the video down, you can split the video, you can adjust a section, so you can slide it to where you want it to be, you can replace a video with one that you've done earlier. So there's actually quite a few editing features within the Instagram app itself. You can add more clips in, add audio, add text, and add stickers. Now the sticker section is really, really fun in Instagram. So if you wanna have auto captions, this is found in the sticker section. And you can also do other things like add yours, which is a prompt that you had earlier, or you can add a quiz, which is great if you want people to interact with your reel. And you have other features like adding a GIF, adding the time, adding another picture. For example, I've added in this picture and I can change how it looks. See, isn't that cute? Little things that you can add in later. So now we've edited our video, it's time to post it. So the top right hand corner of the screen, we're gonna press the blue button and go next. So now this is the screen we are gonna fill in all your details before you post. Now this is essential to get in some really good keywords. So if you're not ready to share your video yet, at the bottom of the screen, you can save it as a draft and come back to it later. Great, but if you're ready to post now, here's what you need to do. So first of all, I'm gonna click on edit cover. So this is where I can choose the thumbnail for my video. So when people are scrolling on my grid, this is what they're going to see. So for example, let's choose a fun part. How about here? Oh, doesn't that look great? So now I've chosen the thumbnail cover I want to have. Now I want to choose how it looks on the grid. So obviously most grids still look in square. So I can just shift this around, use my fingers, I can make it a bit smaller. But there we go. Now I've chosen how I'm going to look on the grid. That's how it'll look on the cover. You can also add a picture from your camera roll. So if you've created your own thumbnail using Canva or any other platform like that, you can select it from here. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna stick with the thumbnail that I have and press done. So now I have my thumbnail cover. I've edited so I know it looks good on the grid. Now I'm gonna add my caption. So now let's put in my description. I'm gonna use some good keywords. So how to make Instagram reels like a pro in 2023. And then you can add in hashtags like reels. Okay, great. So I've got my thumbnail cover. I know how it looks on the grid and I've added my description. Now let's go down to see all the other things that you can do in this preview screen. So you can tag people. For example, I'm gonna tag Justin. Primal video, you've got to. I can also add someone as a collaborator. For example, I'll add Justin as collaborator, which means that the reel that I create will also show up on his grid, which is quite fun. But if you tag someone, it's just gonna tag them. It won't show up on their reel. So once I've done that, I press done. I can also tag products. For example, if I'm a business, I can tag a certain product or another person. 
I can also choose the message button. So I can choose if people wanna send me a message from this reel, how I receive it. I can add topics. Now this is a good feature in Instagram and it's something that they're recommending at the moment. I can also add location, which is quite fun. So we are filming on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. I can also add a poll to my video, which might get more people to engage in. This is not a feature I use. If I'm gonna use a poll, I use it in the video. You can also add a reminder. Say this video is talking about an event. I could put down the start time and a few details. And what's really important is that if you want to get more views, I highly recommend sharing it to Facebook because I found that one of my most popular videos, which is like things they should tell you before coming to Australia and some different culture shocks, I selected share to Facebook and it had 10 million views on Instagram, but like 9 million of those were from Facebook. So I really recommend sharing to Facebook. And I believe you need to connect that to a page. Now in advanced features, this is when you can toggle different aspects for your video. For example, I can toggle that people can't use this video as a template. I can also schedule my reels if I wanna schedule my reel. I can do it for Tuesday, 11.50 a.m., you know? I can schedule the reel, I can hide the light count, I can show captions or not show captions, and at the bottom, it's really important to select upload at highest quality. Something that you should be aware about, but my Instagram doesn't show it currently at the moment, is under advanced settings, there should be a toggle for paid partnership, because if you are being paid by a brand to talk about something, you should toggle paid partnership, and then you tag or add as a collaborator that brand. But unfortunately, I don't have that feature on my Instagram. And there you have it. That's how to create a reel all in your Instagram app. So now you can make reels from scratch or you can use templates. I use these whenever I wanna make easy content because life is busy and someone has already gone to the effort to create amazing looking reels that you can duplicate. So why not? And don't worry, whatever your niche is, you can apply it to templates. So if you wanna make an amazing looking reel using a template, here are two ways to do it. As we said before, when you go in to create a reel on Instagram, you have those three options of camera, drafts, or templates. Now we're gonna choose templates. So we're in the template section now, we're just gonna scroll through to find a template that we like the look of. All right, so for example, this one here. Again, I can't show you the audio, but I've seen this video before and it's really fun. So this is what the template screen looks like. So I'm going to use this as a template. And at the bottom it says, use this template, replace the clips of your own. That's all you need to do. So I'm gonna select the first clip, which is 1.8 seconds. And I'm just gonna choose this clip that I filmed earlier. And then you go along. So when I go to, I go to next. And then this is where I can select what part of the video I wanted to use. Okay, and then if I wanna choose this one. So once you've selected all your clips and your videos, and if you're using videos, you've selected the part of the video that you want to use, because again, most of these templates, the clip will only be for about one or two seconds. You click next, and it's gonna show you your amazing template that you've made in minutes. Like I said, sometimes you just need the easy win, and people have created these templates so you can use them. And once you've created your reel using the template, you're in the end screen when you add in your description, your hashtags, you could choose your thumbnail, how it look on the grid, all those little extra bits, but you've made a reel in a fraction of the time. For example, here's a reel that I made using the template and it was so, so simple. All I did was choose some of my favorite clips and they just synced to the song and I loved it. The second way to find a great template on Instagram is when you're scrolling through, probably when you should be in bed, at the bottom of the screen, you see use template. That means that you could create a video in that style that you love. That's two different ways of creating an easy and amazing looking reel using templates in Instagram. So now you know how to make reels, here's how to make great reels. Because when you film in apps like Instagram, the quality isn't always super high. So you could actually record your videos in built-in camera apps or more pro apps like Filmic Pro and then edit it all together in editing apps like CapCut which is what I use. It's got features like adjusting audio levels, adding background music, customizing font, removing noise, applying sound effects. It's awesome. Now there is a pro version, but everything I do is with a free version. Now that you know how to make Instagram Reels like a pro, check out the video here to learn how to use CapCut. There's also a link to my channel if you wanna check it out and see all the videos that I've created for inspiration. I'd also love to see you there too. And as always, we've got a bunch of links and resources in the description below to help you out in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.